you should have an intuition that it can be very difficult to construct the set of conditions that you want. So how do you go about debugging and diagnosing some behavior that you didn't want to see? I'm going to be talking about some strategies for breaking down the conditions and evaluating each Boolean value individually. We already said that each Boolean operation results in a Boolean value. And this can help you think about how to construct a condition and what's going on. But how do you evaluate a condition that you already have? The problem is that for a given condition, each of the Boolean values that you have is trapped inside of that one part of the condition. And it's a bit hard to get out. So one easy strategy for diagnosing the values, each of the values that you have here, is simply to run console log. So let's see that. If I want a comprehensive look at this entire conditional, I can output each individual value and each individual Boolean value. And this is going to give me a really good idea of what's happening inside the condition. So let's do that now. I want to label every console log that I do so that I can see it easily in the console. Let's take a look in the browser. So when I'm constructing these console logs and I'm looking at the output, I already have an idea of what I'm looking for, which statements should be true or false, given the input that I put in, which is one, and given the output that I have, uh, which is that I didn't win, uh, which of these values should be which values in order for this statement to be either correct or incorrect. I'm carefully looking to see if my hypothesis about the behavior of my code is correct or not. 